standard tuning but tune down a half step suits my voice better so here's D flat the um, D sharp and all the other strings are tuned accordingly let's start with the introduction slowly <laughs> You can play this very freely and slide to the fifth fret, hammer on and pull off. And if you play that with a temp, it has a different feel. C to G. And here's the melody. All right, that was till bar nine. So we're starting with a C. Double bass and F sharp, seven diminished. Two, one, two, one. Then G7. C. Walking down to our F chord, so that <clears throat> fifth bar. the bass and I keep you see my thumb wrap and my index and middle finger on the strings and C and back to our F and notice that I'm often mute 
with my picking fingers. By resting my second finger on the strings I picked, on the second string here in this case. So that's C bar 9 and long A chord A7 and then So in bar 10 we have a D7 and moving up to a diminished chord 5-4-5-4 five, four, five, four. Pinching that with my index and middle and the jump. So, and the bass goes like that. Pinky and move the hole and the pinky up to the fifth fret. And then a partial G chord. And that bend, well, you can take your time with that. And then resume. the most difficult chord of the whole bunch and the best thing is to slide with your third finger and already trying to form that A7 chord with just <clears throat> the second and the fourth string fretted at the second fret and then you're gonna place your pinky and your index so you have you're already forming half the chord and then you just have to add those two fingers. That's the easiest way, I think, to learn it. And going back to a D7, 5, 3, 5, 4, and G, pinky on the 4th fret, 2nd string. So, one more time, bar 17 and 18. And then we have the vocal part, which is uh, the same progression with a few different things. So, let's play that slowly and I sing it softly. Oh, Again, our C and a diminished chord, a G7. Walking into our uh, F chord. And you can either do the second and fourth beat of those F chords uh, with a pinch or just a a very strong uh, accent. Accenting the second and the fourth beat means, of course, the back beat, and then you get a real swing feel. C bar 25, C and A7, and then. So this is a partial G, 7, 5, 7. Then that's your C7 moved up to the 6th fret. A7, that triangular 
five, six, five, four, and then a D7, which normally you could play with, of course, a bar, I just bar partially here, and then da, 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 and again. All I heard Frankie do, some child gal, give me that money. Like I explained, yeah. I'll beat it out. Told I heard it shout. So the second verse with Frankie Dusen, and as the history tells you, this is a very nasty person. He was a trombone player in Buddy Bolden's band. And then we have the second ending, of course, which. Uh, Twenty-eight, D, D seven, partial G and C. So that's it for the tap. And what I did after the two verses, I played the first part again. You could say the solo from bar four to uh, <clears throat> nineteen but with some uh, right-hand fantasies. So let's go over them. I hope I remember them all. Uh, but here you can let yourself go. You don't have to play other chords, but just try to add rhythmic variations. So... Double bass, double bass there. So this is bar four. So, you go from the C, G7, you can do air fantasy, da, 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 da. Just adding those open notes in the uh, first and second string. And for the last beat of bar measure seven, you can introduce the C7. Again, that. becomes that partial G and again our uh, I didn't do that but you I forgot in a way I was uh, planning to do um, an arpeggio I was already in the in the mode of that. So the arpeggio sounds like this. And you can wait a little bit and now resume. Or you can play a little bend there on the third fret second string. For the ending, what did I do? Well, one of my typical endings, going to the 8th fret on the 1st string. Something like that. So, 8, hammer on pull off 5, 6. That's it for Buddy Bolden's blues. There are many versions around, so you can
can pick up some other stuff from here and there. It's always in the key of uh, C. Have fun with it. <laughs>